Welcome guys, I am Asta Tofi. Are you excited for an easy learning session? Today, I will try my best to make it easy for you to understand what actually LIBS is. LIBS stands for Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy. As its name indicates, it is a technique in which laser is used for the breakdown of sample atoms to form plasma. The produced plasma emits radiations which are collected by spectrometer and the spectrum is obtained on the computer. Different softwares like Origin and MATLAB are used for the study of spectrum for qualitative and quantitative analysis. Do you know when was LIBS used for the first time? LIBS was firstly used in 1962 for the spectrochemical analysis. Let's understand the basic principle of laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. A highly energetic pulse laser, mainly solid state lasers, is focused by the help of lenses and mirrors to the sample. Other lasers like carbon dioxide or dye lasers are also used for this purpose. The focus state laser causes the breakdown of sample at the nanoscale and the plasma is formed. Lifetime of plasma is very small, up to few microseconds. Plasma emit radiations that are collected by optical fiber containing collimating lens and sent to the spectrometer. Then spectrometer with CCD detectors gather all spectral lines and send data to the computer attached to the whole system. We obtain graph of spectral lines of different elements on computer. Here is a graph of spectral lines of different elements and this graph is used for the qualitative and quantitative analysis. What includes qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis? Qualitative analysis includes the identification of elements and quantitative analysis includes the measurements of plasma parameters like plasma temperature, electron density, velocity, etc. Because of many advantages, this technique has become very trendy. Here is a graph showing number of publications per year since 2000. As you can see, it is increasing per year. So now we will discuss about the advantages that attract the attention of most researchers and scientists. This technique can be applied to all types of samples, either solids, liquids or gases. There is no need to prepare a sample before experiment. It can be operated in different ambient temperatures and atmospheres. This technique is known as non-destructive technique as it damages on a tiny scale to almost micro or nano scale. Multiple elements can be analyzed in a real-time experiment either with major or minor concentrations.